You know, he went up to the mountain uh, to have the encounter with Yahweh. And the people were grumbling and disgruntled, and they, they said they weren't having any fun. So they started having orgies and worshiping the golden calf and whooping it up. You know, uh, how they got uh, libations, I don't know, but you know, <laughs> maybe from the mana. But they were grumbling the whole way, but their, their spirit was really an opposite spirit. They wanted to revel in the satanic, okay? So they all had to be killed to preserve the, 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 the group of people that were the children of Yahweh. The, the word came that they needed to be killed because the two could not coexist. But those revelers that were there in the group in the wilderness 40 years, that, that group of revelers are the people that rule the world today. And gang stalking issues from them, whether it be through surveillance, can be through law enforcement, can be through gangs of criminals, can be through, but they all have one common bond, a spiritual bond, an emotional bond that connects them, a psychical bond. And that's how one has chosen to be one of those stalkers versus being one of the victims. Uh, no, law enforcement's not going to do anything about this, and the, the government's not really going to do anything about this because, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's what you, can, you can prosecute some people, but then there's other people over there that are going at it. So, and people higher up in the government are part of it. You know, a lot of powerful people are part of this network. And so, therefore, nothing is going to be done about it on that level. The, the, the thing is, is that individually we fight it through prayer and through faith and through the word of God, you can overcome and the overcomers receive a reward after this life. So it's all again, going back to the spiritual. There's no place on this planet you can travel to where they're not watching you and they know who's who it's by the grace of God that you're able to go say to the Caribbean and have a vacation without someone poisoning your drink or whatever. It's, it's through God's protection that you're able to walk around uh, the United States. They, they're trying to put the clamps down because what they really want, ultimately, if you know Bible prophecy, is what they really want is they, they really want to make it a requirement for everyone to take the mark, to worship the beast, meaning to, to pass everyone through the other side. If they don't take that Luciferian initiation then they need to be killed. I, that, that's ultimately where all this is going. That's where they would like to bring it to. And we fight against that. We're really the heroic ones because we're fighting uh, the good fight. And I'm very happy that people have come forward in their networks now, and, and I'm just here to help you understand that this entire thing is a spiritual reality. I'm just trying to help you understand that because I don't think you do understand it or I, I wouldn't be saying this. But you will come to understand it because I, I want to prophesy now. You will get evidence of what I'm saying. Be patient. Don't look for it. You'll, it will be proven to you overwhelmingly. And it will be mind-blowing, the supernatural things you are going to witness very soon now. And when you see those things, know, know and be comforted to know that the Lord has got your back, that he's got you. He's your protector. He protects all the people that fight this, even if they don't know Jesus or they say they're atheist or Buddhist. It doesn't matter. Anyone who's a T.I., let's say, the Lord, you have the Lord's favor. You may not know that, but you do. That's why I'm here, to tell you that. Okay? It's going to be all right. Listen, I've lived with this thing you know, all my life, basically, more or less. And um, I get a lot of people that whisper to me, you know, yeah, I understand about the oppression, the way this thing, you know, I just, you know, but they want to keep, you know, they can't do anything about it. They're locked in. They're going to their job. They're trying to keep their nose clean, you know, work their job, get to retirement. And they don't want to, they know what's going on, but they just don't want to do anything. They don't want to rock the boat. And I fully understand that. And, well, thank God you're not a T.I. You're not somebody that's uh, – a T.I. is not chosen just because they're a threat or because they are 
uh, you know, beautiful or, you know, desirable in, 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 in a sexual way, that's, that's, um, seeing it only through the lens of the flesh is that's not it at all. Because then why would old people be uh, targeted young people, men, women, ugly, not pretty different, you know, uh, different religions, different, you know, uh, all throughout every aspect of life. Why would that be if that, if, if the motive was simply criminal, well, answer, it wouldn't be. That proves right there that I'm, I'm right on that point. In the end, you're just going to find all the people that are standing with you are spiritually, um, on the same page. Whether or not they know anything about it or, you know, most people are cut off from the spirit. They're not spiritual people. They're, they're, you know, they're just rationally going about this, trying to put A plus B plus C equals D, you know, and, and, you know, connect the dots one by one by one, organize into groups and networks of survivors. Okay, great, fine. And uh, help other people to survive. Wonderful, fine. But then there's another reality that's, that's, that's protecting that group. That's, 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 you know, there's another thing going on there. So please try to, um, you know, be a little bit patient with me. If you don't see it the way I see it, that's fine. Don't, don't exclude me. You know, just because I'm a, have a bully pulpit doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, come to your house and bully you, (laughs) you know, (laughs) but I'm not going to be a shrinking violent and not state what I know to be the truth either, you know, and, um, I can just say this, what makes us brethren is um, this reality makes us brethren, makes us uh, the same tribe, okay? And uh, you know, there's a lot of people that would think that um, this particular talk just sounds insane and paranoid. And um, thing is, I'm not paranoid though. I'm not Uh, You know, like I say, I've pretty much had a long time to analyze who's in on this thing and who isn't. And it's not everyone and everything, you know. There are people that do get paranoid that uh, every little bump that goes off, oh, it's them, it's everything's a conspiracy. And I've definitely been through that. But then discernment takes over over time where you can see that, you know, it's not everyone. And, you know, the thing is not a linear reality by any stretch. Um. You know, it's just, it just basically boils down to the spiritual battle for men's souls upon the planet earth. And, uh, you know, I'm here to tell you that if you hook up with, um, you know, if you sell out your soul to join them, um, don't be surprised if it doesn't work out. If it doesn't, you know, if in the end you're not protected, if in the end you're, you're not, you know, those who are on the other side that still have ears don't be surprised if it goes against you one day because you know those who live by the sword uh die by the sword not only that but the bible tells us and all spiritual wisdom of all cultures tell us you know what goes around comes around you you know uh do unto others as you would have them do unto you and if you want to be blessed then bless others be a blessing you know, if you are stalking people, you're you're basically, uh, you know, in, 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 in trying to ruin them, just like the bully on the playground, the bullies on the playground that made this kid commit suicide. If you do that, that's going to be um, put on you by God and by the whole universe as murder on your head and you will be paid back. Maybe the death of your child. Something like that. I mean, it, it may be your own horrible death, but I mean. You know, don't don't think for a moment that you can get away with it, because in the cosmic view of things, everything is balanced in the end. All justice is perfectly balanced. And because we are corrupt, you know, all of us have a corrupt heart. Uh, That's why we need Yeshua's perfect heart and the blood of Yeshua for forgiveness that sets us free from the law of sin and death so that, you know, we are free in him meaning that punishment won't be meted out to us. Doesn't mean not going to die or anything or suffer and all that. It just means that, you know, ultimately um, you're going to go on walking and living in the spirit and, you know, you, you have become an eternal being 
you've already overcome all this nonsense. To me, this is just the playground all over again. It's just a bigger playground. And yeah, man is wicked and will do wicked continually. But um, through faith, through the word of God, we can get through anything. This, wars, rumors of wars, poverty, lack, abundance. You know, I've, I've, I've come into, a, 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 you know, abundance and gone out of it and come into it again. And I could say that abundance can be just as bad as, as, as lack if you don't, you know, manage yourself properly. The Lord says, you know, we are to be stewards. Those of you who have land and you have, you have to be a good steward of that land. If you have property, you have to be a good steward of that property. Not for yourselves necessarily, but you may, you know, be responsible for helping somebody else down the road. And if you've been blessed, if you follow the Lord, you've been blessed with, you know, money, land, whatever it is you've got. It's not just, you know, it's no longer like you go, it's your thing. You go, uh, you know, spend it the way you want. No, it's, it's, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, someone to answer to for all that. There's a reason. And usually it has to do with helping out other people. You know, so... Um, and why is that good? Well, because then we're not shouldering our own, you know, um, narcissistic, uh, self-absorbed, selfish reality, you know? And I, I found that a lot of these uh, TIs, the people that are targeted by this reality are basically become narcissistic or were, or were hurt as children. And there's a demonic stronghold there that can be delivered through deliverance, you know, through prayer. A person can be set free. Um, there's also kind of a self-sabotaging thing that goes on with a lot of TIs where they set themselves up for repeated, um, you know, a, re- a repeat. And, um, 